Hey Taurus, what's up? This is Simone, the Moon Goddess, with your reading for me. This is for love. So, um, yeah, let's see what's happening for Taurus for me when it comes to matters of love, um, relationships. Um, let me say thank you to all of my subscribers, all of my supporters, all those who comment and share and like my videos. I really do appreciate all of the love. Um, if you're interested in having a personal reading, you can do so through my website, moongoddess.com, three S's. Um, my email is down below. Follow me on Instagram, the moon goddess tarot, three S's for goddess. Um, yeah, I think that's about it as far as housekeeping. So let's see what's happening for Taurus for me. I cannot believe that it is May already, practically May already. Um, this year is just flying by, it really is. Okay, so what messages do we have for Taurus for May? Taurus May, May energies for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. What are the messages you want to share with Taurus for May? Let's see what's happening for Taurus. What are the messages for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for May? Nice, clear message for Taurus. Okay. I feel like these cards haven't been shuffled properly. Because I'm seeing the same cards coming up again that I just did for Aries. So let's do this again. Could be, because not sometimes you know it's general energy, so could be similar stories for the signs, but I don't feel like that was it. So let's see. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. What messages do you want to share with Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the month of May for love? For the month of May for love, Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter. For the month of May for love, what is messages you want to share with Taurus? Too many. Try that again. The messages you want to share with Taurus. Sun, moon, rising. Nice, clear messages. Spirit guides for Taurus. Okay. All right, Taurus. You have Ace of Cups reversed and the Magician reversed. So I don't know if this is you or somebody else feeling very emotional, overly emotional, emotionally overwhelmed, maybe even um attached heavily attached or codependent um manipulative due to these over emotions like heavy emotions trying to control the situation queen of cups with king of cups so definite couple energy here there's been some kind of argument five of swords war of words um People are defensive. Somebody feels stabbed in the back. Um, let's see. Page of Wands. I don't know who's offering here. The devil reversed. So somebody wants to free themselves. Um, Why is the Ace of Cups reversed? Why is the Ace of Cups reversed? Why is the Ace of Cups reversed for Taurus? For me, love. Why is the Ace of Cups reversed for Taurus? Me. Taurus, you want to start something new. You're looking to move on to a new path. This, whatever is making you feel un 
unhappy you it looks like you're looking to get away from it i don't know if this page of wands is your partner they're offering you something um but you might not be necessarily interested in it with your devil reversed I feel like you're looking to free yourself from a situation unhook yourself from the chains this um somebody's feeling defeated here i don't know if it's you but um this king of cups and queen of cups couple energies couple vibes that's what's happening underneath okay why is the magician reversed okay okay why is the magician reversed for taurus why is the magician reversed for taurus for me for love why is the magician reversed for taurus for me Where's the magician reverse for Taurus? Where's the magician reverse for Taurus? What's happening here with the magician? Okay, three cards together when oh, couples again. This is amazing. King of Swords, the moon reversed down the middle, and Queen of Swords reversed. So I don't know if Taurus, you're dealing with somebody who is. Like I said, this magician reverse, you get that feeling of manipulative energy, power struggle, power can, um, maybe user, somebody's using, um, having a power trip, taking advantage, not directing the energies in a positive way. You have king of swords, you have the moon reversed, you have queen of swords reversed, clarifying your magician reversed. Um, What's this King of Swords for? Okay, Nine of Wands reversed. So it might be the type of energy of, I've done this, I've done that for you. And now you wanna go off and do something else type of vibe. The Moon reversed, why is the Moon reversed? You got the star at the bottom of the deck just now. Why is the Moon reversed for Taurus? Tell me about the Moon reverse for Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Moon. Nice clear message for Taurus. Why is the moon reversed? Why is the moon reversed? Four of Pentacles reversed. Um, I'm still here. I'm just like looking at the cards and absorbing the messages. Um, four of Swords reversed. Why is this Four of Swords reversed? Why is this Four of Swords reversed? Four Taurus. Tell me what the Four. Sorry, Four of Pentacles. There we go. Four of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles and Seven of Swords reversed. So yeah, I got this vibe of, I've done this for you, I've done the next. You know, you wanna like pick up and leave, you know? You wanna pick up and leave the situation or, you know, almost like a guilt trip type of vibe. Why is this Queen of Swords reversed for Taurus? Seven of Wands reversed. So Taurus, I feel like you feel like you constantly have to defend yourself in this situation with this person. Um, they almost... And this Queen of Swords reverse, this could be you or your partner, but it's like, do it my way or the highway. You know, there's no, there's no um, space for compromise you know is that you feel manipulated you feel controlled that's what i get from this <laughs> real couple energy the six of cups this could be soulmate type of energy um a 
again. Couple energy. You got two couples on here. You got Queen of Cups. You got Queen of Queen of Cups, King of Cups, Queen of Swords, King of Swords. So definitely couples for this reading. Tell me more about this Page of Wands for Taurus. Tell me more about the Page of Wands for Taurus. Ten of Swords. So yeah, I feel like um, it's a real connection and it's a couple and it's a soulmate and soulmates come and go, you know, they come to teach us lessons and to trigger things in us. Um, they may inspire you, but there's an ending here. There's an ending. You go back to the Ace of Cups. Reverse, magician reverse is like pouring out like somebody taking your love, your kindness, your support and then doing this with it. Or it could be you, the energies, vice versa. Um, okay, tell me about this devil reverse. Some of you can be dealing with a Capricorn, can be dealing with Scorpio, possibly Libra. Um... Tell me more about this devil reversed for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Tell me about this devil reversed. What more do you want? What else is going on with this devil? Temperance reversed. So we're all on balance. It's not working. There's no alchemy. There's no, you, you guys aren't making magic together. It's like energies are being wasted. I guess that would be with this five of swords. Let's see what's going on with this Five of Swords. Tell me about the Five of Swords for Taurus. What's the energies for the Five of Swords? Okay, Two of Swords. So like, making a decision, judgment. And you seem to, have, you seem to know what decision you're going with. You, your, your mind is set. Um, this could also be divine intervention happening where spirit universe stepping in and saying no oh, you can do better this situation like learn the lesson and carry on move forward six of wands reversed so you might not be feeling particularly lauded at the moment or you know like you might not be a favorite to somebody at the moment but you're going in the right direction the chariot and this three of swords reversed. Yeah, it's time. It's time to lighten your load, lighten your heart, pull the swords out of your heart, let go of this situation. Um, the hangman, top of the deck, page of swords. Um, you gotta do what's the best thing for you to do in this situation. Let me see what this um, messages come through here. Let's see what this temperance reverse and devil reverse. Tell me more about the temperance reverse and the devil reverse for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. What's the other message for Taurus, for me? Yeah, Taurus. Yeah, this is done. For wands reversed, or at least being restructured, things won't be the same. It's a, it's a swift change as well. Some of you may actually be actually moving i don't know if you guys live together as it is but there might be a move um swift change swift change the hierophant reversed so yeah there's some real separation here i don't know marriage um divorce separation moving out moving out of home seven of pentacles reversed you're not happy really you've seen the light king of pentacles you've seen the light and you're looking to release the situation okay let's see messages we have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter for the month of May. 
What else is happening from the month of May with Taurus? What else is happening? Tell me what else is happening in love for Taurus. Where are they headed to? Where is all this change taking them? Okay. So it's the source reversed. Feel like you're still looking to hang on. The Empress reversed. That codependency, attachment. Three of Swords is here. Taurus, you are not happy. Five of Cups. And it says disappointment on it. Five of Cups. Um, tell me more about this Three of Swords. Why is this Three of Swords here for Taurus? What message do you have for Taurus? Two of Wands reversed. The Minion. It's time to take control of your own future, your own reality, your own powers. Take it back. Take back control of... <sighs> Two of Pentacles reversed. Stand strong in your decision. You got deep down, you know that this is what you need to do. I'm sorry. I hate to say, but it seems as if you're going through a massive change and you need to allow it. You trust deep down that this situation doesn't um, serve your highest good anymore. When three cards come out, we pay attention. Three of cups. So it will get better. This is also Taurus season. It's time for you to like socialize, have fun, go out and eat, drink, be merry. Prince of Pentacles reverse. You need to find some grounding, Taurus. Eight of Swords reversed. You can't let this situation control you. You can't let somebody manipulate you. You have the Empress reverse here. This is why I said the codependency. Um, attachment, unhealthy attachments. I don't know if that's you or they are codependent on you, attached to you. Um, trying to control. Six of Swords reversed. not really wanting to move on any other message for taurus any other message for taurus for me anything else you want to share with taurus for me any other message for taurus for me any other message for taurus for me okay let's see what the oracle has to say messages for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter for May, May 2019 with love. As far as love, what's the message you want me to share with Taurus? Okay. Um, exchanging gifts. I'm not sure which direction that was. But let's see. 27, which adds up to 9, which is a completion. So your message is um, love is an exchange of life force energy between two beings. It grows exponentially when it's reciprocated. You must give and receive in order for love to flourish and abundance to flow between you. Spirit wants you to start accepting all the blessings waiting for you as well as offer the same gift in return. Open your heart and allow it to be filled. Let love in and let it flow out of you too. Love is truly yours today. And I'll read it when it's um, reversed, because I'm not, sh it fell in a weird direction, so I'll read both. Be careful what you pray for, because you just might get it, and then realize you don't want to face the hefty price tag that comes with it. You may find yourself in a situation you've always desired, but know you will have to walk 
away from or even fail at it because you can't or won't pay the dues it asks of you. If you want to be a famous musician, you have to practice your craft every day. If you want to be a millionaire, you have to be responsible for managing the money and paying the taxes. Even a windfall bears a cost. It's okay though, because spirit will help you achieve balance over time. Another message here reminds you that being only the giver and not the receiver plays out in many relationships in your life where you find yourself in victim mode, in a codependent dynamic, or holding on to a false sense of control. Others may push you to continue to prove yourself. The time has come to distance yourself from this kind of imbalance. Being aware of the need to both give and take is the first step to your true destiny. It's all good and getting better. Not only can you handle this, but you can flourish as a result of it. So yeah, you gotta let go of those um, codependent attached. It's coming through the reading clearly here with that kind of vibe. Um, know though that there is some goodness coming if you just allow life to happen. And there's love, the love is real. It might just be that timing is wrong for whatever reason. Because you've got King of Cups and Queen of Cups. All both are right. So that's some real love. It might just be that whatever lessons you're meant to learn from each other, it's been completed. Let's see. What message do you have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter for me for love? Taurus for me for love. Taurus for me for love. What's the message you want to share with Taurus for me for love? Taurus, sun, moon, rising. Nice clear message. What's the message you want to share with Taurus for love? Taurus for love. Taurus, what do you want to share with Taurus for love? <laughs> That's your card. Let's see if it comes out. Taurus for love. What do you want to share with Taurus for love? Taurus, sun, moon, rising. Taurus for love. Nice clear message for Taurus for love. A personal issue reaches resolution. Um, bottom of the deck, balance, spirituality and practicality. Bring love into the situation. I feel like this is the love on yourself. Your commitment is being tested. So either commitment to this relationship or commitment to yourself. Um, at the moment, I feel like this is about you though. This is about you. So yeah, Taurus, that's your energies for me, for love. Um, as I said, I can't remember if I have said, but I, I plan to like do these love readings weekly. So we'll see where this story unfolds and where this is going. If the messages resonate, please drop a comment below. Um, share the video, like it. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the bell so you're notified when I've um, posted a video. And yeah, those are your messages, Taurus. I hope that I wish you all well. And I wish you knowledge of self that you know that you are being directed in the right place and that all is well. Okay, so I'm knocking over my camera and that's my cue to go. So Taurus, until next time, take care. Bye-bye.